the man who absolutely needs a no introduction. When he's uh, recognized as one of the most influential persons in media and entertainment industry and continues to lead Madison as the largest independent media agency in the country. With more than 30 years at the forefront of media and advertising industry, Mr. Vansara, chairman of Madison World, has an ocean of knowledge and insights that very few in this industry have. We are now have the honor and privilege of inviting, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. So, good afternoon everyone. I am delighted to stand here in person before you and it was wonderful to meet many of you over a cup of tea a little earlier. To celebrate the occasion, as you can see, I am wearing my suit, which I, which I probably wearing after a gap of two years. So, let's hope. Moment is behind us and we will always meet in person in future. For those of you who are actively involved in media, we've been through a roller coaster ride the last two years. After the drastic fall in 2020, we have begun to see the climb and hopefully. In the near future, dips in ADEX are a thing of the past. As we told you in 2020, or rather in 21, about 2020, that the year saw a dip of as much as 20%. But, as some of you know, and we already put out this figure, thank you. Uh, 21 has seen a dramatic 37% increase, surpassing our own forecast of 26% which we put out last year. And when we had put this forecast out, many thought it was a bit too optimistic. Also, with this growth, 2021 has crossed the figure of 2019 and now rests, ADEX rests at 75,000 crore, 10% higher than 2019. By now, one is used to experiencing a much higher rate of growth for digital than traditional. But traditional, also did not disappoint and has grown by as much as 31 percent. Digital, which never fails to surprise, has grown by a phenomenal 50 percent. In 2020, as you know, digital was the only medium to grow, though by a modest 10 percent. But with the 20% growth last year, it has more than made up for 2020's epic growth. Looking at 2021 as against pre-COVID pre -COVID year 2019, digital has grown by a whopping 64%. But traditional media, even with a 31% growth in 2021 is still 6% lower than the 2019 figure. Now each of the quarters also behave very differently. H2 contributed as much as 60%. Understandably, Quarter 2 registered the highest growth in percentage terms, but it is the only quarter that we grew compared to 2019. Quarter 4 grew by a dramatic 49%, even over pre-COVID 2019, 
thanks to IPL and the festival season. Quarter four of last year contributed as much as 35% to the year and quarter two contributed the least at 17% because of the draconian COVID wave two. From a historical perspective, last year witnessed the highest growth we have seen in the last two decades. The second highest growth, as now I prefer to, was 28% achieved in 2010. Now looking at what happened in the global index or the global ADEX, what estimates that global ADEX now stands at 585 billion US dollars, registering a rate of 21% over 20 and 18% over 2019. These, I must highlight to you, are indeed very, very high growth rate figures for global ADEX, which in the last 10 years, pre-2019, has grown by a compound annual growth rate of just 5%. So last 10 years, 5%. Last year, 21%. So, not just in India, but advertisers around the world seem to be spending money on advertising with a vengeance. India has once again become the fastest growing advertising market of the world, followed by Australia and UK, which both grew also at pretty astounding rates of 35%. The humongous US market, which contributes nearly 46% to global ADEX, also grew as much as 22% figures that you would never ever associate with US ADEX. India, as we all know, continues to be a minor player in terms of size on the global ADEX stage with a share of just 1.5%. Looking at growth rates of individual mediums, digital has grown by a dramatic 64% over 2019 and TV2 has grown by 11%. TV is the only traditional medium that has crossed its 2019 level. I would say print, the second largest traditional medium, has performed well, registering a growth of 39%. But it could not cross its 2019 level having fallen substantially short by as much as 17%. Similarly, outdoor and radio also grew over 2020 significantly by 69% and 36%. But unfortunately, are nowhere near the 2019 levels because of the sharp drop they registered in 2020. TV, in our view, continues to dominate ADEX with a 38% share, but it has dropped 4 percentage points against last year, gaining 1 percentage share point over 2019. Digital continues to rise both in value and share and grew its share by 3 percentage points from 31 to 34 percent. The combined share of cinema, radio and OH has now dropped from 10 percent in 2019 to 5 percent 
2021. Traditional media, as you can see from this chart, has further moved down from 69% to 66%. A steady decline accelerated in recent years from a 92% share in 2012. TV and digital are of course the two big boys of ADEX, both in India and globally, though in different proportions. TV plus digital is at 72% in India and globally at 87%. Looking at categories amongst traditional media, but only on TV, print and radio, for which we have reliable data, the big story of the year, which essentially is no surprise to anyone, is that spend on e-commerce and new age companies has almost doubled from 3,000 crores to 6,000 crores taking a share up from 8.5% to 13% now. With the advent of cryptocurrency players and many fintech brands, BFSR also grew dramatically by 47% to reach close to 2,000 crore. FMCG, which continues to be the largest contributor, faced headwinds because of increased raw material costs and its share dramatically dropped from 38% to 34%. Possibly, that's the reason we later have a very interesting panel discussion on the relationship between stock market valuation and marketing spends led by Vikram. In keeping with the technology boom, 15 new age companies or startups have now entered a top 50 list, altering the composition of this list. As expected, the list is dominated by FMCG, with 15 players among the top 50 and six players among the top 10. Top 50 advertisers now account for 38% of ad and top 10 account for 18% of total ad -ex. Television and digital together continue to be the favorites of top advertisers accounting for 88% of their total spends. Top 50 advertisers now spend as much as 30% of their budget on digital alone, up from 14% last year. Whilst Unilever continues to top the list consistently over many, many years, Amazon reappears at number two, Dream 11 at number three, Racket at number 4 and Byju's at number 5. The next 5 brands in our elite list are PNG, Reliance, Google, now itself a very large advertiser, Wondelies and ITC. We have as many as 14 new advertisers in our list this year compared to 10 last year. Upstock, Cred, NetMeds, Policy Bazaar, Unacademy, and White Hat Junior are some of the new names that make it to our list. Also predictably, there are a large number of shifts in the pecking order, with 14 advertisers gaining rank and 21 Losing rank. Among those who moved up many ranks are 
own pay, my level circle, NIC, L'Oreal, and NPF. Those who lost rank are Colgate, Hero Motors, GSK, Samsung, and PepsiCo. Let's now move to individual media. Let's see television first. TV addicts put in a spectacular performance registering a high spend of 28,000 crores, which represents a 25% growth in 21 and an even more impressive 11% growth over 2020. TV is the only traditional medium that has comfortably surpassed the 2019 number of 25,291 crore by as much as 11%. TV though dropped 4 percentage share points from a high of 42% last year to 38% in 2021. While quarter one started softly with a degrowth of minus 6% over 2019, each subsequent quarter has gained steam with TV addicts growing in size. Quarter 3 and quarter 4 of 21 registered a sharp increase over respective quarters of even 2019. And quarter 4 marginally surpassed the high base that we had achieved in the last quarter of 2020. The festival demand in quarter 4 of 21 along with IPL, T20, World Cup and multiple reality shows has given this much needed boost to media. TV witnessed a 25% spike in ad volumes too and 11% against 2019. Significantly, ad quarters ad volume is positive across all four quarters compared to both 19 and 20. And many broadcasters, as we know, juggled with inventory to accommodate as many advertisers as possible. An analysis of ad volume beam by various genres shows that all genres have grown significantly in 21 versus a year ago, with the exception of English movies, which registered a degrowth for the second consecutive year. It is significant to note that in spite of unavailability of bark ratings for the news genre, news has registered a high growth of 19% over 2019 and 29% over 2020. Sports genre on account of IPL, T20 and many bilateral cricketing tournaments is now the second in the pack in terms of absolute revenue. However, the genre saw a degrowth of FCT of almost 17% as compared to pre-COVID levels. FMCG, the largest category in the country, as I mentioned earlier, continues to lead the pack, but its share declined by 5 percentage points. E-commerce and education category increased by almost 2x to reach close to 5,000 crores and 1,600 crores. Within e-commerce, in addition to online shopping, Many subcategories like mobile wallets, online pharmacy and financial services were among the leading categories advertising on television. Telecom is the only sector that dropped its volume substantially from 8% to 4%. Let's see digital now in some detail. In 21, a 
in our estimate, digital has grown by a phenomenal 50%, taking digital addicts to 25,438 crores with a share of 34%. Compare that to what Navar told us about 45 crores in 2004. Digital has grown from a share of just 6% over a decade to 34% today. It's just 4 percentage points lower now than the largest medium TV. The last time digital grew by 50% was way back in 2012 when it added just 70, 750 crores but in 2021 it has added almost 8500 crores. Despite digital growing at a compound annual growth rate of 27% in last 10 years in India its contribution to total ADEX is lowest amongst all major nations. Digital share of global advertising now stands at a mighty 65%. Looking at water wise figures, predictably with the festival and resumption of IPL, Water 4 was the largest quarter when digital ADEX cut almost 10,000 crores and contributed 39% to the full year, Water 2 contributed the least at 14%. Almost all digital spends in India are on mobile, with the latter commanding a 96% share. has firmly taken root in India and its share has been going up every year by a few percentage points and now stands at 42%. In terms of verticals, video has the highest share of 29% followed by social and display at almost 20% each. E-commerce and search now contribute 16% each. In terms of growth rates, e-commerce has grown significantly as much as 50%. Display, video and search have also all grown substantially by 30% plus. Now let's take a look at print. The second largest medium till 2019, print grew significantly by almost 40% to reach close to 16,600 crore, following a 41% decline in 2020. Impact of pandemic on print industry in 2020 was so severe that it will probably take a year or two more for print index to reach pre-COVID levels. Print in 21, as against 2019, is still down by 17%. Whilst print has been losing share year after year, in absolute terms, it has been gaining in index value year on year and grown from 11,970 crore in 2012 to cross 20,000 crore in 2019. And in 2021, it has clawed back almost 4,700 crore of the 8,100 crore it lost in 2020. Print now has a 22% share and this would probably make India the print capital of the world along with Germany. No other country besides 
India and Germany has as high a share as 22 percent. The only countries that come close with much lower shares are smaller countries like France, Japan and Italy at around 8 to 11 percent. Also, it's interesting and surprising to know that print addicts globally has a share of just 5% compared to 22% in India. Print addicts recorded a growth of 33% during festival season and grew massively by more than 80% in quarter 2 and quarter 3 in 21 over 20. In terms of category shares, there has not been much movement with auto dropping by 2 percentage points from 16 to 14 and FMCG by 1 point from 17 to 16. Auto's drop has been e-commerce's gain with the latter increasing its share from 3 to 5 percent. Three categories, FMCG, education and auto, make up 45% of total print addicts and are almost equally divided with very marginal differences in share. Total ad volume also increased by 31% but decreased by 16% versus 2019. Looking at print in addicts by language, English and Hindi publications put together contribute 63% of total print volume. English publications have been the highest gainer in terms of ad volume and grew 40% over 2020. Hindi publications which are largest volume contributor also grew by 30%. All languages grew, but the least to have grown are Kannada, Gujarati, and Punjabi. Let's see what happened in outdoor. In 21, outdoor addicts increased by as much as 69% to reach close to 2,200 crore, but fell way short of the figures achieved in 2019 by as much as 38%. In terms of share, from a steady share of about 6%, which it enjoyed for many years to 2019, OH has slipped down to 3%. In our estimate, a little over 2,000 crores were spent in OH way below the almost 3,500 crores spent in 2019, but substantially higher than 1,300 crores spent in 2020. In fact, spends in OH are almost at similar levels to those we achieved in 2014. So a lot of catching up to do still. Looking at at ADEX quarter-wise, 70% of OH spends came in the second half. And whilst quarter 2 was severely suppressed, quarter 4 was a bumper quarter when spent more than doubled over 20 and surpassed 2019. Looking at spends category-wise, the top five sectors that contribute to over 70% of total outdoor addicts are real estate, which leads with a share of 22%, followed by retail, FMCG, BFSI, and consumer services. Compared to 2019, every category saw a degrowth. Let's check out radio. Radio addicts follow the same pattern as print addicts, having increased by 36% to, to reach close to 1750 crores. 
However, when compared to pre-pandemic numbers, radio addicts is still far off 2019 levels and is down by 23%. In terms of share, radio which had registered a 4% share in 15, 16, 17 and 18 now stands at only 2%, same share as what it had achieved last year. In terms of quarter by spends, predictably quarter 4 was the largest, contributing 37%. In fact, quarter 4 registered a 46% growth of the same quarter last year and 21% over 2019. Radio, since it has failed to recover and is estimated at about 1700 crore, takes radio back to the year 2016. Every category registered significant growth in 21 except travel and telecom. Education and commerce have registered highest growth of 96% and 71%. FMCG and BFSI continue to be the two largest categories. Auto and real estate, which are generally heavier on radio, are yet to recover to pre-COVID levels. Just five categories, FMCG, BFSI, real estate and e-commerce, contribute close to 55%. Lastly, let's review cinema. Thanks to three successful waves of COVID over two years, cinema index in 21 dropped by 25% as compared to even 2020 when all other mediums increased and dropped by a massive 87% over 2019. It ended the year with a measly 136 crores, contributing a minuscule 0.2% to ADEX. Cinema is the only medium to drop in size compared to 20. In terms of absolute revenue in cinema, we are at the same level as 2006. Let me now come to the hazardous task of sharing with you our prognosis for the year 2022. With India's nominal GDP expected to grow by 11 to 12 percent, our outlook continues to be positive. Last year we projected 26 percent growth, as I said earlier, and we were surprised that ADEX grew 37% despite given COVID wave 2. After a careful analysis of many macro and micro factors that are outlined in the election of our report, we project ADEX to grow by 20% to reach almost 90,000 crores. Now, I don't know if this will satisfy your media friends, but perhaps it will. With a growth of 20% on the heels of a 37% growth, ADEX would have grown at a compounded annual growth rate of 18% over three years, thus to a considerable extent blunting the havoc created by COVID in 2020 when ADEX did 20%. With a growth rate of 20%, if our estimates come right and going by work estimates of what's happening in other countries, India will continue to be the fastest growing advertising market in the world, followed by Russia at 14%, USA, which is expected to continue its forward march at 13%, and China 
at 11%. We expect traditional adults to grow well again this year by as much as 15% and digital adults by as high as 30%, twice that of traditional on the back of video primarily driven by OTT, short video apps, e-commerce, performance marketing, and connected TV. Key factors that will contribute to this 20% growth are increased number of matches in IPL and other major cricketing tournaments, new categories and new advertisers that continue to emerge in a new high growth market like India, Organic growth coming from the largest contributor to TV market, FMCG, after the subdued 2021, and advertisers in OTT, FinTech, EdTech, Bitcoin, mobile gaming, and varied e commerce categories who are expected to rise and continue their bullish spend on TV, though the acceleration is likely to be muted with the constraint of lower foreign inflows. On the negative side, inflation that has hit the world and India that could stay for half of this year could spoil the party. The pandemic has opened the eyes of many advertisers to the power of digital and given the continuously increasing penetration of digital in India, we estimate digital to take another big leap, growing by almost 8,000 crores to 33,000 crores. And this will help it pip TV in the share game and become the largest medium in Indian annex this year. We expect the combined share of traditional ADEX to further come down to 63% from 66%. TV will drop by 2 percentage share points and print by 1 percentage share point. Radio and OH will drop very marginally and cinema we expect will dramatically increase share from 0 0.2 to 0 0.6. Of course, we expect wide variation in growth rates across mediums, with digital growing by 30%, TV by 14%, and print by 13%. We expect OH suffered quite a bit in 20 and 21 to grow by a dramatic 69%, and cinema to grow almost three times. We expect radio to grow by a modest 10%. Finally, and as usual, I would like to end with some piece of advice for my, all my advertiser friends. My first piece of advice is to consider launching digital first brands to prepare for the future digital world which is likely to envelop India. Take advantage of the evolved digital infrastructure available for both distribution and advertising. My second piece of advice is to set up your own D2C distribution channels. It could pay rich dividends in the near future. D2C is expected to take off in India in a big way. And my last piece of advice is for elite and affluent audiences, use HD more aggressively than what you do now. Because in our view, Bach seriously underreports HD homes. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Mr. Bansara. We just request you.
please uh, be on the stage. Uh, if you can just join us back on the stage. As I would now request uh, Mona Jain, Chief Revenue Officer, ADP, uh, Nelson, kindly join us and present the memento. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sam Gopala.